Welcome to The Art of Tuning In. I'm Maria Forlano. I'm glad you're here with me today. We're going to talk about intuition. So in my membership, a question came up that was really great, and I wanted to share it with all of you, because if intuition is new for you, you might be thinking the same thing. And the question was about, what if I don't know how I actually sense or feel things or know things? Like, what if I don't really know I'm intuitive, but I want to be intuitive, right? So first of all, it's really important to know that everybody has an inner wisdom that's talking to them. And so sometimes when we use the word intuitive, people can feel a lot of pressure, you know? Uh, and so when I say inner wisdom, it it's kind of softens it because that's really what it is. Intuition is a way that a broader knowing, a broader viewpoint, an expanded viewpoint, a knowing outside of ourselves, outside of our little you know, really small focus of the world, it's a way that it speaks to us. And that's an inner wisdom. And the goal, the art, right, of tuning in is to be able to tap into that inner wisdom. And in intuition, we have all kinds of different ways that we sense. You know, some people hear things, some people see you know, and usually when we see, it can be some people see colors, some people see a movie screen in front of them, you know, they, they see images, some people will uh, taste information, some people will smell, you know, feeling is a big one, and knowing, you know, where you just receive a download. So there's all different ways. Sometimes all these different things are happening at once, and sometimes people have one true way that they sense information. And there's no right or wrong. There's no better, worse. It's all good. However you sense is what's most important. And so what you want to do to begin that process, if that's new for you, is first you need to really know that you do sense information. You know, if you feel like, oh, I don't do that, then you're going to block it from coming in. So you have to have faith that you do actually do receive information, that there's energy everywhere, it's, it's coming around, it's giving us information, and you are picking it up somehow. Then you want to just be aware. You want to be aware of how you sense. And how you do that is a lot of people are feelers. That happens to be one of the most common ways people pick up information. So you could begin to see if you're a feeler, right? If you're empathic by how you feel when you walk into a room, do you sense anything? Do you feel anything in your gut? Do you feel anything in your body? Do you feel a pressure? Do you feel a lightness? Do you feel an anxiety, you know, a fast moving energy? You know, do you feel kind of lightheaded? You know, all these things like, do you, what do you feel in your body? Because what happens first is we tend to pick up energy and we feel it in our bodies. And if you're talking to someone, a lot of times it's really clear if you're standing across from someone face to face, you can really pick up energy that's going on. You can often know how someone is feeling. You know, are they in a good mood? Are they not in a good mood? You know, how do you feel when you have to make a decision? Right. This is a really big one that's probably the most useful for anyone is when we want to make a decision, we need to tune into our inner wisdom. And how we do that is we need to just calm breathing. I always talk about breathing, right? We want to start with a nice long inhale and then we want to make our exhale as long as we can, because the longer the exhale, the more we calm our nervous system, the more we relax our heart. Our actual heart rate, our heartbeat actually calms. And when we do that, we're able to kind of get rid of this outside noise and these mental thoughts that come in and want to kind of push us away from our internal wisdom or that expanded knowing. We're too much 
you know, in the world and we want to be more in alignment with a broader view. So when you have a decision that you want to make, for example, you may want to try this in short bursts. So you're going to see a lot of what I talk about are small steps because when we're retraining ourselves to tune in and to listen and to do new things, we are literally, the reason why I say retraining is we are literally retraining our brain. We're connecting our mind and our heart. We're training our body to relax sometimes if that's really not easy for us. We're, we're retraining a new way that we're moving through the world. So when you have a decision to make, and this is what I really want to leave you with today, begin by thinking about that decision and immediately see how you feel. It's really that simple. It's not discarding it. It's not moving into the logical brain and you know thinking things through. You just want to take a few minutes, find a quiet space somewhere. Uh, if you can go in nature, that's always helps, but you know, we can't always do that. So just find a quiet space. If you can't find a quiet space, put in some headphones of some really white noise is great or, um, you know, really calm music, but no lyrics and just think about what it is you're going to decide and how does it feel? And you will get a feeling you will get a knowing. You will get a sensation of some kind of information that's going to tell you if this decision, for example, it feels really good and it's time to move forward with it, or mm -mm, if there's any hesitation at all, then you can begin to move further. If you really want to know why the hesitation is, you can always move further into that. But if it's a decision that you need to make, it's good enough to know that it's either the right decision or it's not the right decision. And maybe right now it's not the right decision. Maybe later it will be. But right now, this is the information that's coming to you. So one of the mistakes that we tend to make when we're dealing with moving into our internal wisdom is we overthink it and we do get our informative hit, so to speak, right? They call it, you get an intuitive hit. You just, you know, and then we second guess it. So you want to not second guess things as much as you can. And just when you start to second guess it, just catch yourself and go, oh, I'm going into my brain. I'm going into this logical mode. Let me come back to myself. And you may need to go do something else for a while and then allow it to come back because it's a very soft energy. People think that, you know, it's going to be really loud and that's why they're not hearing things or feeling things or seeing things or knowing things or sensing things, right? But it's very soft. It's very subtle. And when you get used to it, it's very strong because you know it, but you have to get used to that vibration first. You have to get used to moving in that way of receiving information. Okay. So you all know that I teach medical Qigong and Qigong is an, is an art form of health, of movement. It stems from traditional Chinese medicine and it is phenomenal at getting our energy in alignment. And I bring this up because movement tools such as qigong, tai chi, yoga, other energetic health movement tools help us move into this internal alignment, which can help you develop your intuition. So if you feel like you can't just sit and, okay, I've got to tune in and, okay, I'm going to do this, move around, take a walk, if you practice yoga, do yoga. If you practice Qigong, do some Qigong. If you do Tai Chi, do some Tai Chi because you want the energy to begin to flow through your body. If you don't do any of those, turn on some music and dance. Dance by yourself. Just breathe, sing, sing, and allow the energy with your breath, with your movement to start moving through your body and you will naturally begin to align your vibration to a higher frequency because you'll be lifting up your energy. And when you align that higher frequency, 
you're able to receive more information easily, naturally, without effort. So this is not a forceful thing. You can't force intuition. You really have to relax into it. So I hope that helps for today and I'll be back with more. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Let me know how this topic works for you. How, what is your intuitive strength? And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because then other people can also learn this information and it can really help us in a time right now when we need to really tune into ourselves more than any other time. It's really heart-centered work. Let's do it together. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.